Alright guys, uh, Manuel Garibay here and today I have something different for you. That's my front door and as you can see on the bottom there, there's a huge gap. Uh, the other day I just left this wooden door open and I locked this one because this is supposed to be like a screen security door and it's pretty sturdy so I just locked it and I left and then when I came back I found a freaking cat inside my house laying right there on my favorite couch so I was like hell no so I went to uh, Home Depot and this is what I found security door seal kit and it comes with various pieces of metal that slide under the uh, metal tubing of the uh, security door Okay, so I'm going to start by opening this up and see all the pieces that I got. Okay, got some instructions and uh, screws. This is the piece that slides right into the tubing. Okay, so there it goes. I guess you can adjust the, the width of the door and then slide it under. The bug sweep that goes under the door, top metal trim, and obviously the uh, threshold extender. So now that the bottom bracket is uh, mounted and it's leveled, we're going to need to put this on and see how much we need to trim. Because obviously you buy the kit and it's universal and you have to trim it. Huh. Okay, we have about, about an inch of an overhanging lip. Yep, one inch exactly. On this side you got an inch and a half. Oh yeah, perfect fit. Gotta cover that little gap right there with this freaking thing. There we go. And there we have it. Bought the wrong color, so I'm gonna repaint the whole door. So the gap is fixed now. You can barely see some little spots where light goes through but no cat's gonna fit through there I'm happy that's what it looks like from the outside let's close the door as you can see it's got that rubber sweeper 
giving it a good seal on the bottom and then right there on the top. Again, this product I found at Home Depot and it's called the Security Door Seal Kit. Sells for $39.99. Thank you for watching, guys.